We definitely have a lot of wind now and it is awesome. We are just smoking across the Pacific Ocean right now. <laughs> Warren seems to be feeling a little bit better and therefore he needs to catch up on a little bit of his work and his boat duties and he has been demoted to poop deck cleaner. Literally, poop deck cleaner. There's no rest for anybody around here, I guess. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did we have a, a visitor last night? Three of them, I guess, maybe four. Oh, no way. Yeah, four, four of them. They left us presents everywhere. Oh, um, lucky us. The uh, one of them was definitely a blue footed booby. Really? And it's sitting on the radar reflector and he would not move. <laughs> <laughs> she was and like, I, I, oh, who, me? You? <laughs> he sort of got sort of jammed and he just thought, every time he looked at me, he just sort of walked around the other way. Oh. <laughs> and he had his wings sort of held on the on the halyard and on, on the shroud, just sat there and looked at me. And I thought, right, so I flicked a piece of rope up his tail, that moved him. But the other three, I had to use a, a secret weapon of war. <laughs> <laughs> That's ingenious. Oh, what do you, you do with that? You tie it on a, on a halyard okay. so it's balanced. So it goes up like this and then you get up to them and you pull it like this and then it's, as it swings around it swipes them off the rigging. <laughs> and they fly around for about 10 minutes and come back again. All out and war. That for about three hours. Well, that was a really entertaining watch for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I mean, I don't mind having a rest, but it's, it's, you know, why deposit your lunch on all of my day? <laughs> <laughs> Making moves, huh? We've got almost four knots. <laughs> almost from what? We were going two knots. Two. So, yeah, huge improvement actually. Oh, By my, my calculation, it's going twice as fast. And uh, we'll probably be there in six know, months' time if we yeah. keep going at this rate. <laughs> Where are those damn trade winds? I think we're. I think we are <laughs> unlucky. Why, hey, why, why do you speak like this? Or jinxed. Stop, why do you speak this way? I mean, we're just plagued by, by low winds. No, not I mean, usually. Very often. I think it's your attitude, mister. Really? Because I always go into it with the best intentions and the best attitude. I always think I start off on the right foot, you know? Happy and positive and it's, I don't have a bad attitude until we run out of wind for four days. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're unbearable. And then I'm unbearable. I'm a big well, beast. It's a good thing that you were sick for the last four days. Three. <laughs> two and a half. All right. Felt like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just nursing you back to health. Yeah. Okay, finally. I don't even want to say it because I don't want to jinx it, but we just, I mean, we'll just show you around. I think you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> Things not making noise and behaving as they're supposed to. Because we're on a sailboat. Yeah, because we're sailing. The wind is back. Warren. <laughs> I said it quietly. Warren, do you know what makes you Oh, it feels good. Listen, nothing flogging, <laughs> nothing flapping, just the boat in the water and the wind in the sails. You know why? It's 
Uh, it's true, things seem, seem to turn for the better when Eric goes at the helm. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. That, that often happens. Maybe I have a bitter spirit, I don't know. I'm glad, I'm happy though. Definitely have a lot of wind now, and it is awesome. We are just smoking across the Pacific Ocean right now. <laughs> oh. This boat charges through the water. Oh, it's amazing. Our boat, our boat weighs eight tons. Eight tons is what she's listed at. She gets beat up pretty good. What's this boat weigh? 40? 40 something tons. It's 43 or 46 tons is what the boat weighs. Ours weighs seven. For comparison. These waves don't even <laughs> affect her. No, and her hull is so thick that it's nice and quiet. All you hear is a little bit of water rushing by. On our boat, it sounds like we just hit a train. <laughs> Girl. Woo! This is all right.
Got to get the radar on because we're having our first squall, it looks like. Yeah, it's stormy. And our first... Had to take the woofer down in the middle of last night. That's a whole nother story I'll get to in a minute. But packing the boat up and getting everything ship shape ready for a rainstorm. <laughs> is calmed down so we have put the woofer back up which we love this sail it's just our favorite sail um, you know these downwind asymmetric spinnaker jenniker not real sure if you guys know let me know they're all really similar anyways but we got it back up after having to yank it down in the middle of the night in a rainstorm last night uh, which is exactly what we don't want to get caught in and we did last night we had talked them into running it uh, a few nights back. I know it's not comfortable for you guys having it up over the night, but there are four of us on board and we haven't had any squalls or anything that's been picking up. Mm. And if anything, we're dealing with pretty consistently light winds mm. forecast. Given what we've experienced over the last week or two, I think we're pretty safe leaving the woofer up overnight. Okay, all right, well, we'll give it a shot. Because we were just having low winds and it was the most comfortable sail to sail with and worked great for the first night and then of course last night we get our first squall of the whole trip and we have to yank it down at 3 a.m so we did that it all worked great couldn't film it because it was dark and we were in a hurry or panic ish but um the trip so far has been i don't want to say well I, I gotta be careful what i say so i don't insult the gods or jinx myself but i won't say easy I didn't say easy. easy i wouldn't do that i would not say that I would say not hard. And uh, we've just been doing a lot of reading, a lot of relaxing, a little tinkering, a little drawing. It's been great. We've been having a really nice time. It hasn't been hard, I'll say that much. I mean, aside from learning to live at an angle. <laughs> We're just healing over. There's a lot more movement on a monohull, that's for sure. And you're at an angle and that's hard to get used to. It's not that bad though. I have to pee sitting down, <laughs> which um, for half of you probably doesn't sound that bad, but the other half of our audience is gonna understand that it's a little tough to get used to doing that. But if you don't, the toilet lid, I never really thought about this, but the toilet lid turns into a mini little guillotine. So I'm not even gonna try that. I'm just gonna sit down and that's fine. Been a nice trip though. We're having a blast. I think we're down to just a, we're under a week. I'll say that. I don't, I don't know how many days, but we're definitely getting there. Caught a fish today. It's been great. Nice time.
I love that she's using learning the ukulele because it's really idyllic to be in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on our crossing, having her playing the ukulele in the background during sunset. I mean, it's just a perfect metaphor for this whole crossing, how pleasant it's been. I mean, it hasn't been scary. It hasn't really been all that challenging either. Um, I hope that doesn't nip me in the ass down the road, but it's just, all, it's just a lot of time. You know, we get a lot of reading in. On the upside, we get to see our share of amazing sunsets and most sunrises, honestly, and it's just really mellow. We're on a seasoned ship with a crew that knows what they're doing, and we all kind of have our little jobs, and we get plenty of reading in. It's been fantastic. Tomorrow's halfway day too, by the way. <laughs> I know the girls are doing something kind of special for that. I don't know what, they won't tell us, but I'm sure it's some sort of feast and maybe a bottle of champagne or maybe just some beers, I don't know, but pretty excited for that. It's beautiful, we're having a great time.